Another one is at Dental Interval. This is going to be a level two study where we know it is not found in normal people walking around out there, but we don't know that it's associated with symptoms. This is Centeno CCI type 2A. Now notice here, what's super fascinating about this measurement, and remember ADI is the distance between the atlas and the dens, and it's being measured right here. So that distance between the atlas and the dens is what it is we're measuring. And normally it's measured in flexion because that stresses that ligament. And this is the transverse ligament that helps to control or keep this ADI small. Now notice what's super cool here is that we have an age-based guideline. And that means that at the end of the day, this is a cartilage bearing joint. And as the cartilage wears down and the patient ages, the, the space gets smaller. So for example, two millimeters in a 25 year old is a normal measurement, as you can see by this chart, whereas two millimeters in a 55 year old is an abnormal measurement. So again, this space gets skinnier and skinnier as the person ages. So what's normal for a 25 year old is very different uh, with regard to what's normal for a 55 year old. Now I see very few people that have adopted this age based measurement standard. Most people are still using the concept that this shouldn't be more than two millimeters, but two millimeters in a 25 year old is normal. So this is a great paper. It's in the references uh, and we need to start changing our assessment of what this ADI should be.